Hello so students and welcome to your mathematics 10 class. Today we'll be still looking at the topic matrices. Under matrices we'll be looking at the transpose of a matrix, the identity of a matrix, the determinant of a 2 by 2 matrix and, and finally the adjoint of a 2 by 2 matrix. So when we talk about the transpose of a matrix, what do we talk about? What do we mean? So to transpose a matrix simply means to switch the rows and the columns. Let's say we had um, a matrix A. I showed. If we are asked to transpose this matrix, it simply means making rows. And making them columns. Hence, A transpose or the transpose of A will be this matrix. As you can see, our row has become a column. And our second row has also become a second column. Let's look at another example B, where we're given a row matrix. If we're asked to transpose this matrix P, we would have the answer which will become a column matrix. In example C, we're given a 3 by 3 matrix, which is B. If we're asked to find the transpose of B, we would simply make our rows columns. And we'll have the transpose of P equal to this matrix. As you can see, ABC, which was a row, becomes a column. Now, another part of today's lesson is covering the identity matrix. What is an identity matrix? An identity matrix is simply a matrix in which, when we multiply, gives us the matrix. We multiplied by. Hence, we can say it behaves like the number one. Whatever we multiply by one gives us what we just multiplied by. Let's say we multiplied one by two. It will still give us two. If we multiplied hundred by one, it will still give us hundred. So this is how an identity matrix behaves in matrices. In example A, we are given that A is equal to this matrix and B is equal to this matrix. This is just a normal matrix, but B is an identity matrix. We are asked to find the transpose of A. Then after we find the transpose of A, we are supposed to multiply that transpose by B. The transpose of A will be simply making the rows of A columns. Hence, the transpose of A will be equal to this matrix. Now we move on to our second step, which is finding the transpose of A multiplied by B, which will give us this same matrix. As we're multiplying matrix, mat the matrix which is a transpose of A by an identity matrix. So we'll go through all the steps in this example. So after we do our multiplication, we should have the following 3 by 1 plus 7 by 0 and 3 by 0 plus 7 by 1. We also do the same to the second row. We covered multiplication, so I don't expect this to be so difficult. So after this, then we simplify what's in the brackets. And we'll have 3 plus 0 for this part. And we'll have 0 plus 7 for this part. Now, we have to simplify this, and hence we have 3 
7, minus 2, and 4. So you can see this matrix is the same as this matrix. Hence, we can confidently say that the matrix B is an identity matrix. Now, let's look at another example where we have a 3x3 three three matrix. So in this example, we won't do all the, all the multiplying. What I want you to see is that even the 3x3 three three has an identity matrix. The identity matrix for a 3x3 three three matrix is simply shown here, which is uh, the matrix B. So if we're asked to find A, B, we'll be simply multiplying matrix A by matrix B. Having that matrix B is a identity matrix, our answer will be simply matrix A. If you still don't believe this, you can pause the video and do the actual multiplication to see if the answer is surely matrix A. Now, what is the determinant of a 2 by 2 matrix? The determinant of a 2 by 2 matrix or the determinant of a matrix is denoted by modulus A or simply the modulus of the, of the named matrix. This letter here can change to any letter. But these bars always be vertical. Given that matrix A is equal to these letters here, our determinant can be equal to AD minus PC. The letters are shown so that we can get a clear understanding of how we find the determinant of a matrix. So to be simply multiplying the number that will be in the position of A and D, then subtracting the number B multiplied by C. For example, when we have the matrix B, which is shown, and we're asked to find the determinant, we'll be simply multiplying 4 by 4 and subtracting 6 multiplied by 2. So our determinant of B will be 16 minus 12, and hence our determinant will be 4. In today's lesson, the last part we're looking at is the adjoint of a 2x2 two two matrix. So, given that we have the matrix A, which is equal to this set of letters, A, B, C, and D, we can find the adjoint by simply switching the positions of A and D. So, D goes where A was, and a goes where D was. Then we also change the signs of B and C. So our B will become minus B and our C will become minus C. Hence this matrix shown here is the, is the adjoint of A. Let's look at an example with actual numbers. So we'll find the adjoint of M, which is equal to that matrix. So we simply switch the positions of 7 and 3 and change the signs of 4 and minus 2. And hence, the adjoint of M will be this matrix. Thanks for watching today's video and look out for our next lesson, which will be covering how to solve the simultaneous equation using matrices.